Hello, my name is Sarah Sally, and this is our fourth uh, submission in uh, for Team SharePointless in Arctic SharePoint Challenge 2012. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, test-driven development in C++. Uh, we have written an, uh, an algorithm for face detection, face recognition in C++, and we have used TDD here. Now, this is very cool because it's not very usual to use uh, TDD in uh, such a middle-level language, uh, which is a uh, lower level. Um, basically, what we have used, we have used the uh, Google test framework, which is called gtest. You can find it in this link here on the top. Uh, so once you have downloaded uh, this uh, framework and set it up for Visual Studio, you can simply start using it by just including the header file, as we can see here, which is uh, gtest. And once you have done that, you can just go right ahead and write your, start writing your tests. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, so it's uh, just uh, the same as uh, what we are used to in .NET and uh, Java by writing the unit tests. Uh, we create uh, several uh, test uh, classes, which then test our uh, test our uh, our implementation. So in C++ we have uh, CPP and header files. Uh, these are our classes uh, here, and uh, the test classes are on top. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run all tests and just to give you an idea how uh, this is uh, working. But before that, I'm going to show you how uh, actually the tests are, uh, are found by the compiler, how they are actually run. So, uh, in addition to adding the, um, the library here, including it here, we have to uh, go to the main, uh, the main CPP, which is uh, the entry point for the program. And here, we, all we have to do is uh, write colon colon testing, colon colon init Google test, and then simply just write this line here, run all tests. Of course, you have to include the uh, Google test framework here again. And once you have run this one, then all tests are automatically run. It's that easy. So, uh, now we're going just to compile this. Okay, as you can see here, this is a picture which has been detected. This is our image, our input image. And on the left side here, we have all our tests. And as you can see, all are green. And this is a really good, si uh, good sign uh, that they are all green. Uh, so that's how it works, basically. Um, uh, now let's take a look at one of the test, uh, test uh, classes here. For example, this one. Uh, as you can see here, we created a simple test just by writing test. That's all you have to do. And start parentheses and then the name of the test case and the name of the test itself. So this test here uh, checks uh, the width and height of an input image. Now, uh, this is the standard, uh, standard uh, pattern, which is a range act assert. Um, let's say that we have a, uh, this is the expected minimum width, for example. And expect minimum height. We have always a fixed uh, minimum width and height for our input image. This is for the detection and recognition process of the algorithm. It has to be fixed. So w I have written here an expect expected values on both, and I have also um, I have acquired the actual minimum width and height uh, by calling uh, these two uh, global variables, face width and height, which are fixed, and then simply assert it by using assert equal in this case, and you uh, check the expected with the actual, and then it either uh, either um, passes the test or, or it does not pass. So let us let me break this test just to show you. So let's say that, uh, let's say the expected is 330, which is not true. So let's try and run this now. Okay, as you can see, uh, one of our tests failed, and once it's failed, we see a red there, failed, and uh, here we see uh, which test it is, it's uh, test case face size test, which is that one here, and it checks face with height, uh, the name of the test, which is that one. So that's really, that's pretty cool. As you can see, this test failed, and it's pretty easy to see from this, uh, from the console. Uh, now let's fix, uh, let's fix our test again. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty much it. This is uh, TDD in uh, C++. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, you should check it out. TDD is very important uh, to use when coding. And uh, the Google testing framework worked really awesome for us. And uh, we are going to continue using this uh, whenever we use C++. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, let's continue the competition.